Okay, we're here with Matt, and we're going to be there with Emily as well. Mm. Ah, get a little more beverage. Okay, so everything is good. Everybody kind of hates Matt a little bit. But that's fine. We'll get back to it. Alright, we got our psycho here. <laughs> okay, so Matt and Emily are trying to find... I can't believe Josh is dead. Okay, they're trying to find... No, I mean, what if they were wrong? Oh, they're going to the cable Maybe car station, right? Yeah, that's right. we should have checked the shed to see if it was really okay. true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never... So... Yeah, Alright, over here by the picnic tables, there's going to be another totem. I'll take uh, and so this is a, another death totem here. Uh, it's back, back here. Keep going, something like that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Near the spilled paint. Yeah, so that wasn't blood before, right? That was just paint. It's okay. Okay, I know the totem is around here somewhere. It's, by, it's right by where this the paint is. But I can't find it. Because what the shit? Okay. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Ah, I got it. Okay. So it's pretty close to there, but yeah, just in the back behind the tables. Okay, so let's see how we die. Oh, okay, so there's another way to die. Uh, if you attack the elk when he has the axe there, they'll push him off the cliff, uh, and then there's going to be like quick time events. If you fail the quick time events, you uh, fall to your death there. So. Obviously, don't do that. Just don't attack the elk. They're nice. They don't want to hurt you. Look, an axe. Okay, so this is another clue. Uh, story mandatory, so don't worry about it. You're like, oh, wow, crazy. All right. Okay, from now on, you just kind of want to agree with what Emily. Now? Just kind of go Matt. be on the same page here. We'll break the door down, will you? Well, wait a second. So she's he's basically just gonna. Down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? Any idea that you have, <sighs> she's just gonna like rebuke it, which is gonna make her hate you even more. Look. So. What? Window. That's yeah, great, just, Matt. I can just about fit my lip Just do whatever the fuck Emily spot. says. That's basically the you moral for the rest there, of this chapter. <laughs> so yeah, okay, okay. She could fine. probably get through that window and goes. probably open the door for you, but you're gonna smash this bitch down. Just do it. Do it. Okay. So we're gonna smash, 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 smash. Keep going. Alright, this takes a little bit. There we go. It's actually pretty impressive. Three hits to break through a door there. Creepy. Alright, yeah, so I got trashed. Damn. This all being uh, Josh's handiwork. We were here just a few of hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's yeah, so you the saw the paint the, there. The so who, yeah, it's not who blood. Who got to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's I, I mean that's not far, right? You you can jump it. Uh, that's like 30 <laughs> feet and yeah, more. I thought it said like, oh, it looks like maybe 20 Flatter. feet. Now you no. think about it, retrospect, like, that's you can't like jump way out. What are we gonna there. do? I, I don't know. Okay, so but everything is like so busted. All right, we gotta up. get in here. Um, we're gonna take a look exactly at this fire thing. So here we go. Yep. So we can look at that. And like, oh, hey, there's a radio tower. That's cool. Hey, look, fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, Right, huh? okay, so, Matt, he's supposed to be, like, the meathead jock, but he's actually a lot smarter than Emily gives him credit for. He's like, hey, this fire tower, whatever, right? She just totally blew him off, which is fucking bullshit. 
this year. Anyways, all right. Such a mess. This place so was now we're gonna look at this thing. Before, and now? Very friendly. Ugh, unfollow. <laughs> Although I do like that. Ugh, unfollow. Okay, so there's no key. Got it. Fact. Now she's gonna be like, "What about that fire tower?" And you're like, "Bitch, did I not just no say keys. there's okay, a fucking tomorrow. fire tower over here?" So back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Okay, well, at least she does say like on the map well, you found. But... Or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Okay. Uh, you also get a, you also get an achievement. <laughs> For agreeing with her, there it's uh, on Somebody's the same page. So yeah, I got that on my first time through. Oh, uh, well, in case someone's you're, learning to play by the rules. In case you're in a fight with Emily, you wouldn't get that what on the first time through. Rule number God, one: Emily is always bitch. right. Rule number two: Nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh huh. <sighs> Emily, I love you, but I hate you. You suck. <laughs> okay. So another thing here. Okay, so you have to keep oh, hold up. Emily's uh, uh, keep keep the relation up with uh, Emily and Matt. Uh, so when look. she's shimming around get the the corner there, you'll get a brains. you'll get a quick time event. Uh, uh. Um, I think it, yeah, I think it's a square. I uh, just hit square. She's gonna like almost fall off, and you'll catch her. Um, I'm honestly not sure if you don't do that, if she just falls off. But it's, uh, but it's better to, uh, you know, be there. You coming with me, buddy. You, know, you catch her, and she's like, oh, okay, thanks. So, despite her bitchiness, she is Come on, actually Dad, appreciative. Totally get out here this way. Whoop. Whoop. She falls <laughs> off, you catch her. You all right? Yeah, uh... Why don't thanks, you go first? Maybe, uh, yeah. You should go first to protect me. Gee, thanks. Okay. Alright, so. Okay. okay. There's no more quick time events on this, so you just keep going. Okay. Alright. Oh, Cutscene. Oh Almost looks like cell shaded Almost. down there. Almost. The, uh, I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. The uh, cliff oh. face down there. Almost looks cell shaded. Okay. Uh, it's just a different animation type. But, anyways. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't look as realistic as the rest Holy of the. Holy cannoli! Thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Oh, speaking of cannoli, pretty, pretty damn good right now. Okay. All right. So there is a totem over here. As soon as you get out. So this is a uh, guidance, guidance totem. It's okay. Give the flare gun. To Matt, I missed this my first time through. It's important, very important, that you give the flare gun to Matt. So when I was playing through before, Matt was in the mines by himself, oh and God, he work. didn't what? have the radio. It work. Didn't but have anything. All right. It doesn't. We need a plan. Maybe. He didn't have anything to help him. He was just got dragged just away, and he got fucking killed. Down, well, what? if he has the flare gun, he can shoot the Wendigo with a flare and he can save himself it's, it's not like it's um, that's the only way <laughs> that you can well save Matt out. otherwise he will die we won't have to. you think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away no but maybe we should find a safe spot hold up wait it out it, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning as long okay. as we don't hide in the lodge that's where he expects us to go so we're gonna keep walking, go across this rickety ass, rickety ass wooden thing here. Which, I mean, yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, so there's a couple clues here. Uh, one of these I didn't get on my first time through. Um, and actually, now, now that I'm reading through the guide as we go here, go left. Okay, so don't walk to the right yet, go left. You walk to the right, you'll get a uh, you'll get a cutscene, right? So this, you kind of recognize it. This is where um, Hannah and Beth were running. Now, if you pick this up, you can find the Beth's cell phone in here. I mean, it's pretty frozen over, but 
Whoa, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, so it looks like they missed this. Okay. So you find, all right, so you find the, find that. There's a totem here, too. I think I saw the, the shiny. There it is right there. You see the shiny there. Well, before you walk off to the cliff. If you walk off to the cliff, um, you've gone too far. And you won't be able to get this guy. Okay, so this is Fortune. Okay, so Ashley letting in Chris. So when you get to the point where Chris has to choose to shoot Ashley or shoot himself to, to you know, there's the saw blades coming down above him. If you choose to shoot Ashley, which even though there's it's only blanks in the gun, she'll remember that you would you were gonna kill her to save yourself. And when he's getting chased by the Wendigos, she'll be like, no, fuck you, you were gonna kill me. Like fuck you Chris and then he gets destroyed by the Wendigos and dies so important that you uh, yeah you don't do that okay so right here this is the first place that you can actually lose a character uh, so this is the first place where Matt can die here in, in, yes, in uh, Matt, chapter the five. Choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. All right, so we turn around here, and now we see all of those crazy elk. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, okay, so like I, like I was saying before, if you freak out and you axe one of these things in the neck, uh, they will just push you off the cliff. Um, and then you have a quick time event. If you pass it, you'll survive. If not, then you're fucked. Uh, anyways, okay, so here we are. Um, we're gonna... We got Sam to close out the end part of her chapter here. Uh, she's going to be running around in a towel for a little while. So we will do that next time.